Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Many lawyers add confidentiality notices to email. One way to add a confidentiality notice is to insert it as a building block. If you wish to review creating building blocks, please review Lesson 18.10 using quick parts from earlier in this chapter of this tutorial. Alternatively, you can add a confidentiality notice to an email as part of an email signature. You can then set all email sent from your account to use the selected email signature, ensuring you will not forget to add it to any outgoing emails. To create a new signature, or edit your current signature, open a new mail message window. Then click the Signature button in the Include button group on the Message tab in the ribbon. Then select the Signatures command from the Buttons drop-down menu to open the Signatures and Stationery dialog box. To create a new signature file, click the New button on the Email Signature tab. Then enter a name for the signature file and click the OK button. Next, in the Edit Signature dialog box, type the text that you want to include in the signature file. At the bottom of the signature, you can then add the text of the confidentiality notice to the signature file. You can make the confidentiality notice stand apart from the signature by selecting the text and then applying formatting to the confidentiality notice, such as bolded text or a different text color. Once you have created the signature file that contains the confidentiality notice, simply click the Save button to save the signature file. You can manually insert a signature into an email by clicking the Signature button in the Include button group on the Message tab in the ribbon when creating a new mail message and then selecting the name of the signature to use from the Buttons drop-down menu. You can also set Outlook to use a selected signature when creating all new email and replying or forwarding email. To set Outlook to use your confidentiality notice signature automatically, click the Signature button in the Include button group on the Message tab of the ribbon within the new message window. Then select the Signatures command from the Buttons drop-down menu to open the Signatures and Stationery dialog box. Under the Choose Default Signature section in the Email Account list, select an email account to associate with the signature. From the New Messages drop-down, select the signature to use when creating new mail messages. If you want to use the same signature for Replies and Forwards, then from the Replies slash Forwards drop-down, select the name of the signature file. Then click the OK button when finished to set the new default signature for your mail so that you will not need to worry about forgetting to add the confidentiality notice to your new mail messages. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.